Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I go by the name of Ahmed, aka Peak Fighter. Now, today I have a big announcement. Now, this will determine the rest of my life and the future of this channel and everything else that I decide to do. So from now up until the end of this year and next year, I will be doing this content thing full time. Now, obviously, at the end of next year or during next year, I will reevaluate to see what would be the next smartest move for me financially and all those things but for now i have enough and i'm happy i've been doing a lot of reevaluating, and i thought to myself what i was doing in my nine to five i didn't really enjoy as much as what i'm doing over here so i decided to take a break from what i was doing to now do this full time to see if i could take what i enjoy doing and see how far i can go now in august i started a challenge where i said i'll be streaming posting youtube videos every single day up until the end of the year i started that first of august we are currently on the 4th of November and I can tell you guys I haven't missed a single day you can see on my channel if you go through the list I genuinely haven't missed a day and lately we've been double uploading sometimes even triple uploading nowadays and we've still been streaming on YouTube on Twitch for many many hours and I can't lie I'm happy with what I've done and the decision I made in order to do that, which ultimately led to the decision I'm in now to decide to say I'm serious enough that I want to pursue that fully just to see how far I can go. I've said I always wanted to do this when I started in 2022, but 2022, all I did was reaction videos and stuff like that. 2023, the same. And at halfway through 2024, I did the same thing. But the main thing that I did that was different is I started streaming. At the end of January, I just said, hmm. Let me start streaming and become a streamer. So I started my streaming journey hosting Ultimate Team Tournaments on FC24. I started hosting Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 4v4 CDL style tournaments. That was the best decision I think I've ever done in my life. Because I decided that there was a gap that no one was filling. And that was tournaments and making sure they're entertaining enough. And making sure they're competitive enough. While also making it free entry for the viewers. So every time I got paid, I said, hey man, let's host a tournament. I hosted so many Ultimate Teams, so many Pro Clubs, so many Warzone, and so many multiplayer tournaments at the start of 2024. Now, when the game started ramping down and there was nothing else for me to do, I started to take a little break from streaming and stuff like that. The Euros started, and then the Euros presented a different opportunity for me because I like football. So I started doing watch alongs for football, and that has shown and that has led to a gigantic increase in my output and into my actual streams and in viewership numbers and stuff like that because when euros i can't lie those are great times the watch alongs for the euros if some of you guys were there i enjoyed them very much but then after the euros ended it left another gap saying what do i do now there's no good games coming out until september so from the end of july up until august i have nothing to do for one month until the new premier league season starts because i said i'm going to continue my watch alongs from when i did in the euros to the prem the champions league and stuff like that so I decided to do that so the one month that i was there basically when the euros ended i think it ended like the 13th or the 11th i did nothing from there until the end i dropped two youtube videos that was it so i decided to say to myself what do i actually want to do so then that's when i came up with the idea from the first of august i will do this every single day now i dropped that video on the first of august saying this will be what i'm doing or the 31st one of the two then i said to make sure i stay consistent i will give away a hundred pound for every day I miss and then Amiri Prince said to me if you miss five days in total you have to go bold and me personally I'm not doing that so I locked in and I said hold up let me do let me let me let me turn my shit around and then after that I managed to luckily find an editor on the first day of the challenge called Raisin who has helped me a lot in terms of the thumbnails in terms of the actual editing of the videos so I thank you very much for helping me be consistent that led to this point here. Because now I'm motivated enough because now I can take edit, I could edit myself. I started doing vlogs, started focusing on Ultimate Team. We did some 2K, we did some Dragon Ball, where Black Ops 6 is out now. I'm doing the web, um, camel grind, FPL, match day vlogs, all of those things. And now we are also on top of that, back to reacting where I started at the beginning. So now I'm managing to balance every single thing and put them together. And I can't lie to you, right now, I feel like I'm at my peakest prime. Right now, I feel like I'm at my peak in terms of what I want to produce and as output. And I realize that I can't go and do what I want to do outside or anything else unless I finish up recording, editing, posting, and finding time to stream, which I've done every single day and which I will continue. So 
from that being said this is what i want to do hopefully going forward and so let's see how we go currently right now i'm on 5,000 subscribers on youtube we are on 9.5k on twitch and we are also on 26k on tiktok every single platform of mine is called peak fighter linked in my bio make sure you go subscribe it's like and all of that stuff through every single platform i'm on i stream every day on twitch i stream also on tiktok at the same time and i'll be posting every day on every single platform i'm not gonna lie to you i have been this is it is fun it is fun so let's see how far we can go i decided to sit down that to dress to impress for you know once in my life this will be the most serious video that i think i probably will do on top of obviously the updates on the challenge and stuff like that but this is what i want to do going forward if you guys are new here subscribe drop a like on the video i'll be around for a while hopefully so if i have to go back to doing the 95 that i was doing then at least i know i continued the foundation that i built now and the last couple of months and we'll continue that going forward so i don't slack and i have time to do everything else that i want to do so yeah that is the main update that i have for you guys that i have left my nine to five and that i'll be doing content full time from now i am also going to japan on the 11th of november which i'll be posting some vlogs and i'll be maybe streaming i don't know if i'll be able to because you know they earn all of that stuff so we will see what i can do maybe when i'm back in my hotel room i can we'll stream for you guys but we'll see how that goes because I'll, I'll be like what seven hours or some shit ahead seven or eight or ahead so we'll see what i can do in terms of the streams over there but i'll only be gone for a week so yeah i'm gonna be doing some more stuff out there show you guys what i get up to things like that having some fun because that's what it's all about nowadays have fun do what you'd enjoy doing because if you ever get opportunity where you get to do that i would highly recommend you go ahead and do that because i ain't gonna lie i'm doing that now my goal was always to hit 100k on youtube so i'm gonna try and put my head down and try and focus on that to be fair all i did was post one reaction video or two reaction videos a week that wasn't really great enough output if i'm being honest now i've decided to put my head down and say let's do this properly and let's get into this so i hope you guys have enjoyed let's see what the future holds let's see what the future holds on this channel and on twitch and youtube my goal always for the end of this year was to hit 10k on this channel hit 10k on twitch and to hit 30k by the end on tiktok i know at the start of the year i said i wanted to hit 100k but I guess that was a feasible enough because again, I was inconsistent. So I only started in August, which was month eight. So <laughs> give me some slack. But at least now we can say the U-turn and the trajectory I've taken this channel on now compared to what I did at the start of the year, last year and the year before is a lot better. You can go check the videos I did before. Check the videos I'm doing now. We're, we're developing. <laughs> so every year will be new lessons learned and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys will see me sit down and talk to you guys soon with probably some more great news. Hopefully more good things coming soon. I hope. But let's see what it all holds. Because I ain't going to lie to you. To do it, making a big career change like this, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Because let's see. Because I don't know. Every day. Because now right now, instead of doing everything, for example, knowing that's going to come in, I have to do everything for myself. So regardless, that's going to be the most scariest part of it all. Now it's basically down to me. Whatever I do, is whatever whatever comes back. There's not a fixed thing I know that's coming in on the 23rd. <laughs> it is all me. So that will be exciting because now I can see truly how hard I can actually work and how, how much I can actually take myself to the levels that I want to go to. Because I can't lie, this is what I want to do. I, this is fun. <laughs> Genuinely, I have the most fun. When I watch a football with people, I have fun when I drop a video, people comment, I interact with them, it's, it's fun. When I read the comments on my TikToks and I stream to people and the people in my chat, I love to read my chat a lot. I actually genuinely read my chat majority of the time. Even when I play flipping foot champs, I'm, looking, I'm reading my chat and then someone's telling me to lock in. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Then I can see, but I'm still reading my chat. So I appreciate every single person that supported me who's been here since the beginning, who has been here for a long time. Because in my locked in reactions that I brought back, some people are like, I was here last year, I was watching it. And that made me feel like to myself, you know what? I like that. People are back. People recognize me. And let's see what we can do. I appreciate every single person I met along the way. Every single person that I've been along the way. We've got what? Awale. We've got Riddy and Alpha Trios. Amiri. Boogie. We've got Flipping Vicrius. We've got um, Aaron Hunt raided me. Bro, I met 
I met FPL Harry, Naeem United, Dan, Walid, Hass. I met my guy Samo, Big Ohms, Chin. Big up to all my friends that have been with me since the beginning that I started this channel that featured in most of my videos when it comes to gaming. We've got the Warzone ones, the Pro Clubs one. Let's see. We're gonna hey, we're all going up. We're all going up. And every single person that came to my football shoot, I appreciate you lot. I appreciate you all. If I miss some names out, apologies. But I appreciate every single one of you who has supported me, watched me, and things like that. I am also going to be dropping my biggest video yet very soon. Hopefully this month, which was a last to miss a penalty wins £500. I filmed that at the end of September. It's being edited right now, making sure that it's perfect. I invited 50 people out to compete for £500. I want to do more videos like that very soon when the weather gets a bit more warmer. So stay tuned for that, my biggest video yet. I go by the name of Ahmed, aka Peak Fighter. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys over on Twitch called Peak Fighter. Drop a follow on that. And I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow. Take care, peace, enjoy the rest of your day.